Hey, what's good, y'all, man? It's Nurse Akeem, man. I wanted to talk about something, man. Something broke my heart at work today. Um, I do psych nursing. I'm a registered nurse in the state of Georgia. And I just wanted to talk about, like, HIPAA. Can HIPAA, like, be bad or whatnot? I just I just want to get on YouTube and see if somebody else feels like the way I feel. Um, so what happened was, so a girl came in. I ain't gonna tell y'all what city I am and to the extent of all that. Just know a girl came in. She was 18 years old. She was 18 years old in three months. So she, to me, she was a baby. I'm 35 years old. So she, I was trying to get information out of her. It seemed like she was in shock. I couldn't get any information out of her. The only information that I could get out of her is that she was at this job training program, job course, whatever you wanna call it. I've been to job course, they didn't let me in, that's been over 20 years ago. So apparently in this particular city, job course students get like some type of little supplement, supplemental money or something, and they can get passes to leave the um, place. So what will go on is uh, a lot of guys will get together, or girls, I don't know, I'm thinking a lot of guys will go together, and they will put all their money together and they will get rooms. So they would get rooms and just get the girls and just have a good party, I guess. That's what's going on. So in this particular city, all of the hotels have joined together to ban all of the little young kids. The young kids from job court can't come there anymore because they're having so many problems with girls getting raped and their own things of that nature. Can I say rape? Well, I just said it now. So back to the little 18 year old chick. She comes in, the police brings her there. So she's supposed to be going home, back to Atlanta, Georgia. So her bus leaves on her ticket, her bus is supposed to leave at six o'clock. It's like eight or nine o'clock, like 8.30 at night. And she's telling us she need to get to the bus station. But her eyes are like big, she's looking crazy, blood clots in her eyes. So I'm asking her, have you been fighting anyone? So she's like, like catatonic-ish, I would say. She's just looking, like, just looking. Eyes blind. I'm like, somebody beat you up? Da 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 da. She's just not saying nothing. So we're going through the process, trying to find out who she is. She don't know who she is. She don't know where she's from. Uh, she just don't know anything about herself. Uh, all things she wanted to do was take a bath. Can somebody show her where she can take a bath? Of? Which we can. You can't just let anyone take a bath off the street without being admitted. So we're in the process of trying to admit her uh, as a 1013, because she fit the criteria for a 1013 at this point. So we tr now we're calling the hospital so we can get her over to the emergency room and check out if anything going on with her. So me, uh, I have like five daughters. Uh, my oldest daughter will be 12 in November. So in my particular situation, that, that kind of hurt my heart that we couldn't call and tell him that. So I just say, you know what, fuck it. Um, and my, I say, hey, um, the chick, man, can you uh, call your mama? I'm pretty sure your mama wants to know where you at. She's like, I can call my mom? I'm like, yes, get on the phone and call your mother. So she get on the phone and she call her mom and she tells her mom a lie. Cause her mama worried about where she at. She thought she was supposed to be coming on the bus. So she says, yeah, everything is okay. I'm doing just fine. With these people, they're trying to get me one more. So I'm looking like, God, me, you gonna, you gonna lie to your mom like that? That's, that's crazy. But I digress. While she's on the phone, I'm sitting over there looking at the number she called because I'm like, I'm concerned about this chick, man. Um, not because she was pretty or beautiful or anything like that. She really, she's a young girl. She needs to get home and get some help. Um. So anyway, though. We called the emergency room. They send the sheriff over to come pick her up. So I'm like, hey, you're gonna have to go to the hospital. They need to check you out and see what's going on. So she leaves, she goes to the hospital. We never hear anything from her again. I called her. I know I ain't supposed to, I just called and none of them because her mom kept calling the place. She just kept calling, looking for a daughter. She wanted to know where her daughter at. So I, when I got out work in the morning, got on the phone and I called her mom and I want to tell her it's blah, 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 blah. I ain't telling you where I'm from, where I'm working at. I'm just telling you, I know where your daughter at. And she is at X hospital, you should call out there and see. And that's where the thing comes in with the HIPAA violation. 
of her being 18 years old, 18 to me, she's still a child, in my opinion. So she can't call and ask for a child out. They're not gonna tell her anything. So I'm just on the fence about the HIPAA violation, man. It's just, just this really broke my heart, man. I, I don't understand how people could be so cold. And I know it's about people be getting sued and et cetera, but sometimes, man, I think they should at least put a discretionary clause in that HIPAA violation for a situation like this because that girl was lost. Ain't no telling where she at now. Um, from my synopsis, from what I gather, I feel like some guys got together and she was young and gullible, like a sweet lick. I really think that they uh, scraped that bug. I really think they did. And they did her so wrong till she was in like a total state of shock and she did not understand what really just happened to her. Um, I think they really literally like melted this girl brain cells in one session, man. And um, that shit just broke my heart. Ain't nothing I can really do about it because she 18 plus. All I could do was just be vigilant about the situation so her mother can hopefully follow up with her. But like I said, she in this particular place, for her to end up even in this work training place, I know something with her family is out, especially when she lied to her mother like that. But anyway, though, that's my real spiel. Give me the comments, man, and y'all tell me, is the hip hop, is it like, is it messed up? I mean, because it just broke my heart. Anyway, though, I'm on my way to work. That's my little two cents for the day. Peace.